Hello, Eastern. My name is Nancy Bown, and today we are here with sophomore student Marta Vasquez. Uh, Marta is from Spain and is joining us th this school year uh, from her school, uh, Brains International School. Uh, in Madrid, Spain. Uh, so to start off, uh, Marta, uh, what made you decide to come to Eastern? And I think that the main reason was my father because he came here 30 years ago and he did the same thing that I'm doing now. He stayed in the same school, like he graduated here, he was 18. So he's always talking about the great experience he had. Mm -hmm. So I decided that I wanted to do it too and that's why I'm here. Is this your first time in the United States? Well, I've, I've been here five years ago, but only visiting, so yeah, but yeah, this is like my first time here alone. Okay. Yeah. So what were certain programs or procedures that you had to go through with your school to come and transfer to I I had to go with an agency, mm -hmm. and yeah, like they can visit me like every once in a while, like every month or something, someone mm -hmm. comes and talks to me and like, how are you doing and everything. And then with my school, they like, I had to get some subjects, like maybe physics and chemistry or bio, or like I had to get some, mm -hmm. so that then when I go back to Spain, I can like continue mm -hmm. my junior year there. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be a junior next year, so. Uh, what, when you first came to Eastern, what was one of the biggest differences you noticed in just the day-to-day -day, like school schedule or just classes? Uh, yeah, for example in Spain I start school like at 9 or oh. 8.50 mm -hmm. and here I have to wake up in the morning like at 6 Yeah, and that is a really big difference. The mm -hmm. good thing is that we end here at 2.15 and in Spain I end at 4.30 mm -hmm. so I really like ending up at 2.15. Nice. What's been one of your favorite classes so far? Fashion. I agree. I love fashion, <laughs> and yeah, and in Spain we don't have fashion, oh. so I'm really gonna miss that. Yeah. Are you able to have different um, electives in your class? Uh, well, yeah, but like for example, yeah, we don't have fashion, we don't have, like we have like the regular ones. Mm -hmm. I think that maybe you can choose French or German for like okay. a second language, but that's it. Like that's the only thing that you can mm -hmm. choose. So yeah. So. Uh, when did you first learn, like, do you learn uh, English in at your school? Yeah, school? at okay. my school, yeah, but, like, not, like, in Spain. Mm -hmm. You can go to a school and you can learn English, mm -hmm. or you can be, like, in a regular school where, like, they don't usually speak English. Okay. But my parents, like, they've always wanted me to come here and do the same, so mm -hmm. I went to school where, like, I've been learning English since I was three, I think. Okay. Oh, wow. So, yeah. <laughs> what were, um... Uh, what have been some challenges with English? Have you know, like, as you've learned your second language and being practically fluent in it? Well, um, I don't know. Like, like I want to improve my English, but I still have that Spanish accent, mm -hmm. and I really want to improve that and have more like an American accent. Okay. And I don't know. Like sometimes when I'm presenting something at class or things like that. Mm -hmm like my accent or I don't know how to say things, mm -hmm. that's a big confusing so. Okay. Do you take a, uh, so what English class are you in at Eastern? Do you just take? Right, right now? Okay. So I am in English too, mm -hmm. but I like they told me that basically in English so that it wasn't so difficult for me, mm -hmm. I could take CP, like it's the only okay. CP class I'm taking, because mm -hmm. they told me that they knew it was going to be challenging for me to be in English, mm -hmm. so the only thing that you do, like if you're like in, I don't know, Excel or something, is like you read more, mm -hmm. and I prefer like going low in English and not in other classes, so right. that's basically why I took CP. Okay. Um, so do you have any siblings? I have four step brothers. Oh, four brothers, four step brothers. Well, three step brothers and one step sister. Okay. And yeah, they're not my actual like brothers, mm -hmm. but I consider them my brothers. Have they ever considered um, going through the same program? My yeah, one of my step brothers, he's doing the same thing right now. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, he's in Iowa. Oh Iowa! Yeah. Wow. <laughs> And uh, another stepbrother, he did this last year because okay. he's an older. Mm -hmm. So yeah, he's older. Though. <laughs> and he went to Tennessee. Okay, cool. <laughs> so yeah. Have you been able to travel around the United States since you've I, been here? Yeah, I've been to New York like four times already, nice. and I love it. And in my spring break, I'm gonna go to Washington. 
Washington so, yeah. DC or state? No, DC. Oh, okay, cool. And I I'm yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. Nice. Um, so what would you suggest to students who are also interested in studying abroad? Um, basically, you have to know the language. Mm -hmm. Like, I thought that I knew a lot of English and that it was going to be super easy for me. But when I got here, like, the first months, like, I don't know, it was really confusing because people, like, they were all talking to me and everything. And mm -hmm. sometimes I got really, like, confused. And when, like, like when the end of the day comes, like, you're really tired because... <laughs> Like, all the time that I'm speaking, I have to be thinking, mm -hmm. so it is really, like, tired. Right. So maybe, like, study English. Like, if you want to come and do this, like, know the language. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. That's it. Yeah. What have been some strategies that have helped you? That have helped me. With, like, mm -hmm. um, the day-to-day, -day, like, thought process. As you were saying, that it's, like, very tiring. Maybe. Mm, I don't know. Like, um, I just, like, sometimes... When I know what to say, I just say it, mm -hmm. and it's, like, really easy. Mm -hmm. But sometimes I do have to think, so maybe I'll just, like, instead of saying, like, a lot of things, I'll just say, like, a few things, like, so the people get what I'm saying, and that's okay. it. Like, I won't go into much detail. Okay. Um, have you noticed a change in, like, how the Eastern students kind of I guess what I'm trying to say is, um, do you notice a difference between like the value of learning different languages, like at your school in Spain and at Eastern? Because mm -hmm. of course, Eastern students are required to take, uh, well, yeah. technically two years of a, a, a world language. Yeah, for example, in my school, everyone knows English. Like, like they can speak English fluently. Mm -hmm. Here, people can speak some Spanish words. For example, I help my friends with the Spanish, mm -hmm. but when they try to talk, like they're not really good at it. Like they cannot like speak like a full conversation mm -hmm. but in Spain in my school we do like mm -hmm. we speak English like in English classes we're required that we speak English all the class so then mm -hmm. we can practice and I think that it's better like yeah yeah because I always feel as though it's like well learning a, another language is amazing like I know for myself I've been trying to become more confident mm -hmm. in Spanish um but it's also a sense of having that exposure and being able to like have mm -hmm. the like because we can speak and read more or less but it's being able to speak it and it's like having that exposure that's awesome though mm -hmm. um so hmm, I'm trying to think. were there any other people from your school that have traveled mm -hmm. abroad well, yeah, some people, what they do is they go to Canada, okay. but they go maybe only like three months mm -hmm. or two months because like they don't want to lose all of the school year. Mm -hmm. So they go two months, they learn English, and then they come back. But I think that like to really learn English, you have to be here because like whole year. Because mm -hmm. the first two months here was me to like get used to it and everything. Mm -hmm. And then I start le learning English from like the third month. Then, like, I think, so if you only go two months, you don't really learn much English, you just, right. yeah. Makes sense. Um, is there anyone else that you, um, no, I can't ask that, right? Um, so, hmm. so when you get back to Spain, what do you think is one of the big challenges that you'll have? I will miss my friends yeah. and my family. Yeah, because now that I'm thinking of it, I'm only here for like four, uh, four more months. Oh my goodness. So, and I can come back and visit, but it's mm -hmm. not going to be the same. I may visit once a year or once in two years, because mm -hmm. like to Spain is like eight hours in plane. Yeah. And it's expensive. Mm -hmm. So I'm really going to miss them. Yeah. So, yeah, I think that that is one of the big challenges, like not seeing them every day, not living with them. Not, mm hmm you know. I think that's about it. Is there anything else you'd like to add or something you'd like to say to students of Eastern? <laughs> um, well, I think that if you want to do it, if you want to go to Spain or if you want to go to any other countries, you should do it. It is really cool. You get to meet new people, new cultures, You, yeah, and you have a lot of fun. Like You, you can spend one year with another family, and I think that you're, if you're interesting, you, you should do it. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Marta. <laughs> yeah, thank you.